Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to take a quick look at the control hub and how to bulk administer video endpoints. How do I make changes to not one, but all of my video endpoints or a large chunk of my video endpoints at one time? We're gonna solve that problem right now. Let's dive in and check it out. All right, so I will assume that you can get logged into the control hub for your organization. Here we are. I am going to scroll down on the side to devices. And I am greeted with a pretty familiar looking devices page. Now I have a lot of devices offline, really doesn't matter for this demo, it uh, is gonna work the same way. Uh, I can filter down or I can select all and then I can edit devices to make bulk configuration changes to these devices. So let's talk about that a little bit. I have, uh, let's see, a uh, WebEx board 55S. Uh, I can come in and I can of course come in here and make device configuration changes manually and, and administer this device, uh, no problem. One thing I do wanna call your attention to is the tags. So tags allow you to better filter your devices, right? I've given this uh, the Atom tag, which means it's in my office, uh, just my, you know, for my reference, as well as touch, meaning it is a touch display. So I've added those tags just to kind of make my life a little easier and I will show you where they work in just a second. Now when I am filtering devices I have a number of criteria that I can use to do this. I have type, product, status, calling, belongs to, tags of course, issues, uh, alerts, you know, a couple others, right? Software channel and so forth. So what I can do is search by type, right? Is it a room? Is it rooms and desk uh, devices, which all of mine are? I could filter based on that and I'm going to get uh, basically the same result set that I have now. I could come in and filter on status, right? So I have offline, online with issues, so forth. Uh, let's actually jump to tags and we will use the touch tag and we will filter by that. And now we have just the WebEx Desk Pro and the pair of WebEx boards. So from here, I can actually go ahead and uh, you know select all of those because I've filtered appropriately. And now I can edit devices. Devices is plural. So edit, uh, you will see the, in the summary view how many of each type of device there are. So the board and the pro. I have some options to delete these devices in bulk, export them in a CSV, kind of cool. I can then configure the devices, whether it be device configuration, I can also configure digital signage with this as well. If I have common tags, of course it shows me that information down here. So let's edit the device configuration. I will be greeted with a long list of different configuration parameters. I'm uh, scrolling through them pretty quickly, but uh, you, you get the idea. So let's, uh, let's look for something that is, um, you know, pretty straightforward. Let's do uh, room cleanup, R room cleanup web data. And we will set that to daily and this will clean up the web data. So if I'm browsing in the, uh, in a browser session, something like that, that is uh, set to default. Actually, let's let's turn it off just for something different. Uh, and when I'm done and happy with that setting, of course, I can, you know, shrink that back down. I can step back through to different uh, different settings here and actually pick something else. Let's do room. Uh, I don't know room people presence detector because that's uh, that's pretty cool. And actually, we need this for one of my other videos, which is the room analytics. So we'll do that. We'll jump back. We'll do room. People count out of call, we'll turn that on as well. Anyway, you get the idea. When we have our settings, we can click next. And then we see all of our configuration parameters in the review section. Now, the cool thing about this is if there's something here that I don't like, maybe this, this uh, you know cleanup data, maybe that's something I don't like, I can delete it, or I can hit the pencil to jump back to it to uh, edit it as well. So when I'm done, I can click next uh, and return back to that window. And finally, when we are happy with our settings, we can click apply. You'll see that uh, two devices uh, were all, two were successful. Now, if you remember, I selected three. Uh, and the reason, the reason is, is this setting was only supported on two of those three devices. So. Uh, products, two of the three were WebEx boards. These settings were supported. If we look at the Desk Pro, these settings were not supported, so they weren't applied. Anyway, that gives us an idea of how the settings were applied. If for some reason there are errors, we will actually see that information uh, as well. Uh, and ultimately, when you're done, you click close. 
Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, please leave them in the video comments section. Always love to hear from you guys. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.